In the criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. So look at this guy right here, look at this guy. He's got anti-Obama stuff, and he's got how much he loves Trump, but he's driving around in an old fucking old Benz. You can't support President Trump if you want an old Benz. You gotta have the Ram truck. Or you gotta at least have a Tricorp or a Jeep SRT. Chump, buddy. It's time for another wonderful episode of Count the Trackhawks. So here we have this lovely Trackhawk right here. Pulled it right out in front so everybody can take a really good long look at it. I think we may have already seen this one. It, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's a real damn shame that you've got to constantly put all of these different messages on the windshield. Red tag sale? What, the, what, what is a red tag on a fucking truck? There's no such thing as a red tag on a truck. There's red tags on clothing, but apparently now they have a red tag sale on a truck, on a on a overpriced truck that looks like an underpriced truck, just like that one. So here you go, $10,000. $10,000 for the track hog. $10,000 off. So that's the track hog. And I think this has the red interior. If I'm not mistaken, this also has the uh, Televisions. Let's take a look and see if this has the TVs. But, um, oh no, oh no, no, it does not have the TVs. So the sticker, $10,000 off, but the sticker says, what does the sticker say? The sticker says $99,000, goddamn. Okay, so <laughs> that's track hawk number one. Track hawk number one. So, oh, we got uh, some sales right here on the demos. We got a demo, we got an SRT Durango. Let's see, with any luck, some of those, oh, see this silver Hellcat now. And I have to say, I posted a picture of this on the Dodge Charger Challenger owner forum and people said, yuck. And I'm like, what do you mean yuck? Go, it's a nice color. Now, what a lot of guys do is they get their Hellcats used. And when they get them used, what they do, the first thing they do is they start modifying them. They put a wrap on it, change the whole color up. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, hell, if you get one of these things used, you save about thirty dollars or $40,000. My only thing is, you know, what does the impending uh, maintenance look like? But whatever. So you got these orange calipers on a white Hellcat wide body Challenger. Everything must go. Everything must go. Let's see what else we got around here. You guys see, I got my coffee right here. Got to get that that uh, that French blend, that blonde. Got a dog right here. Got the uh, gangster guy in the ram. He, he's, he's listening to Tupac's Biggie diss. Okay. And keeping a gully, keeping a gully in Long Island. So let's see who's here today. Got another silver Jeep. I should do that. I should get a license plate bracket like that, but they already drilled holes in my shit, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, probably doesn't. Oh, this is 16. These ugly ass wheels. Oh man. Every time I come here, every time I come here, every single time I come here, this car is here. It's like y'all gotta do so y'all gotta do better guys. Y'all gotta fix this guy's car up. You gotta make him happy. Let's see what else we got. Okay. M power. <laughs> M stands for maintenance. That's what I'm gonna say from now on. Anytime somebody asks me, hey, what does BMW M stand for? It stands for maintenance. That's what it stands for. Oh, look at that Jeep, that's nice. Nice color. Okay. 
It's almost like it's gonna rain today or tomorrow. Man, there's no fun stuff right now. We need new products. Nothing fun. Nothing, nothing overly exciting right now. It looks like a scat pack right here. Scat pack Hemi. <sighs> a lot of compasses. Well, at least they move. They move really well, too. What we got, what we got? got the Hellcat, orange Brumbos. Okay, looks like we got some, possibly some red eyes here. There's a red eye challenger. Red eye, red eye, yeah. Got another red eye, another red eye right there. That's nice. You gotta have red eyes, man. When you got red eyes, that changes the whole game. Look at this, I'm take a picture right there. Hmm. Red eye, red interior. Red eye, red interior, okay. I wonder what the take rate's been on the red eye. Considering the fact the wide bodies aren't moving terribly fast, and these wide bodies, this is $89,405. I have to wonder what the take rate is on those. This is the standard wide body. Standard wide body should be about 78. Yep. Oh, 76,825. So one or two features probably isn't there. All right, let's go count some track hawks. We already got one. Let's see how many more there are. That's why everybody's here to count the track hawks. Okay, so we're already up to one. Okay, this is a Jeep SRT. This is track hawk number two. Look at those rims. Oh my God, look how. Oh my God, look at all the dust on that damn thing. Red Hot Supercharged Track Hawk. Every time I see this one and I see all that writing on it that's been there for like so long, it just brings tears to my eyes just to see that one. Okay, so this is a two, three. Okay, red SRT right here. This has a better chance of selling than that damn white Track Hawk. Four. Another Track Hawk, yeah, four. Five, okay, red SRT, okay, yeah, red SRT there, white SRT, black SRT, wow, they must be selling those SRTs pretty well to be ordering these, another red SRT, it's just red and black and white, it's like, come on guys, where's all the colors, come on, there's no sangria, damn, What's this? Is this uh oh this is like a limited four by four. Nothing special. This is like bronze or something. Okay, well <laughs> I guess the rest of them have been moved. I mean hell, if you drop in ten and twenty thousand dollars off one of them, you know, I guess they should be moving, you know. They're not supposed to sit forever. It's like let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. It's amazing how few silver ones there are. They have so many silver limiteds, but so few silver track hawks. I think that's just amazing. Very, very few. TVs in this one? New TVs? No TVs. Oh. <laughs> Shame. It's like, shit, if you're going to sell something for $100,000, that motherfucker better be fully loaded. Anything less than fully loaded, you screwed up. Red hot supercharged try. Apparently it's not hot enough, huh? Just not hot enough. Mm. TVs? Nope. No TVs here. Oh, how about this one? This one this one's never gonna sell. This 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 business will close down before this one sells right here. Damn. It's like they they should give somebody like a discount on this. Just just say, hey, listen, just take it, please. Just take it. We'll pay you. That's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. 
Man, I can't wait till the next generation of products comes out. I have like a thousand horsepower elephants. Elephant track hawks. That's going to be sick. In fact, I wouldn't call it the track hawk because that's a stupid name. How about you change the name of it to the elephant? You got the Jeep elephant and the Durango elephant. And I'm sure somebody might say, yeah, well, I don't like that name, but you can't argue with a thousand horsepower. There's no, what are you going to do? You going to buy a Subaru? <laughs> no, of course not. Look at these things. Oh, and notice how they have the bumper guards on. When you buy these things, do not take your bumper guards off. I don't give a shit what those losers over at the forum say. Keep your bumper guards on. Because I guarantee if we keep our bumper guards on long enough, eventually what you're going to do is you're going to have all these little foreign cars. They're going to be trying to copy you. So you're going to have like Honda Accords and shit. And they're going to be buying bumper guards or they're going to try to paint their bumpers yellow. Because, I mean, it's bad enough those bastards that keep buying all these painted brake calipers when their cars are so slow. Because they're trying to copy the SRT style. And then they got these fart can mufflers because they're trying to sound like Hellcats in, in traffic. No, keep your bumper guards on. Because that is so... It just adds something to the car. It just adds like a bit of mysticism. You know, keep those bumper guards on. Next thing you know, you're going to see Honda Accords with orange calipers. Ugh. Makes me sick to my stomach just to think about it. I've already... Did like a little mini micro review about the Ram truck and how much uh, cooler I think it is than the F 150s. But uh, let's just take another look right here, real quick, at this Ram truck. See, this is a big power package for those tough guys that run them trucks. Now, look at this you got the power running board like the uh, old school navigators used to have. So you close that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Come. Oh, shit. Big power package. Look at that. That is so cool. Let me get you a Ram truck. Like, if you had to buy a truck right now, yeah, you could go with the F-150 because nobody's going to say that the F-150 is not a good truck. The F-150 is a good truck. However, what if you want the big power package? Well, then you got to go with the Ram truck. This Ram truck, this is a lot of trucking right here. This is a lot of trucking truck. So let's look at the Ram big power truck. This is a nice truck. So my guess is the next generation of uh, SRT products is going to have a key that looks a little bit more like this, like these big old key fobs. So that's nice, right? So I've checked us out. I've checked these things out before. So we're just gonna turn it on, get a little comfortable. I, when I first saw this at the New York International Auto Show a couple years ago, I thought it was just really, really amazing. And I hoped that by now we'd have been seeing new products that had all this stuff in them. Let's hit auto. Let's throw on some. Let's throw on some cool air. So cool ourselves down. Let's turn that radio down so we don't get demonetized. Fucking YouTube. So will FCA put this computer screen into the Jeeps? I have to wonder. Now, this is a really, I, I have to say, this dash is nice. It's a really nice dash. Now, I, I've never really been a fan of vertical uh, vertical screens like this, like, you know, Tesla popularized it, and then uh, Toyota Prius Prime copied it, and then a couple of other cars started copying it, so I've never really been a fan of it, but, I mean, it works, it's just that, in my opinion, it's like, if you have to look down at this quarter, it kind of takes your eyes a little kind of far off the road, you know, I want to keep my eyes on the road, so I don't, you know, crash into some little shitty Japanese Kano car. Now, let's turn this down just a little so this way this doesn't interfere with the mic. So yeah, I mean, all of my complaints that I usually throw at these German cars are basically uh, met by a car like this. I mean, look at, look, you got a freaking ultra view. Look at this, you got the ultra view shade. Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit, look at that. I didn't even know they had that. Wow, look at that shit. This is like the screen door on your patio when you live in the deep south. Holy shit. 
Wow. Now, see, if you, you can't be a Trump supporter if you don't have a truck like this. If you don't have a truck like this, then you don't support Make America Great Again. You have to have this truck. If you don't have this truck, then there is no MAGA for you. You got to have this truck. Forget the F-150. You got to have this truck right here. Just because of this screen door. You got... Holy shit, look at that. If you don't have this truck, then you better not dare call yourself a Trump supporter. Look at that shit. Like, I could put my shotgun right there in the back window. I could I could hang it right back there next to my Confederate flag and my MAGA hat. Like, I put MAGA hats on each one of the seat covers. Like, I just put one here, one there, one there. You can't be a Trump supporter if you don't have this truck right here. Look at this. Look at this shit. Because I, I swear to God, for all of you fake MAGA supporters, if you fake and you got one of them Toyota Tundras, we're going to call you out because we don't take kindly to you people. We don't take kindly to you people at all. You a fake. If you got one of them Toyota Tundras, you a fake. Don't you dare. Don't you dare say you support President Trump. You don't have this truck right here. You better have it. Look at that shit. Holy shit. I could do this all day. Look at that shit. I ain't never seen no shit like that. That's incredible. Look at that. God damn. It's like they thought everything. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. What else they got? Okay, so you got this big, beautiful window, just like my Jeep does. Well, now, 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 this is this is where. Now I have to ask: Do you have heated and cooled seats? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Because I tell you, you can't make America great again if you don't have cooled seats. You can't make America great again if you don't have cooled seats. Let's see what they got. You see what I'm saying? Right there. Make America great again. We got ventilated seats for my ass. Look at that. See, in the old days, when me and my daddy would drive around, and you can feel it coming right up your back, too. See, we didn't have heated and cooled seats back then. What we had was we had a Mexican fella, and what he would do, if you wanted your seat hot, what he would do is he'd take a cigarette lighter and he'd rub it under the bottom of the seat, and that would make the seat hot. And if you wanted the seat cool, he would take, like, a fan and he'd just wave it and that would help wick away some of those uh, bad air farts away from your chair. But this right here, oh my goodness, this is a luxury, luxury truck. Look at this shit. Now, now, now here's the thing. You can't make America great again if you don't have hidden compartments to put your gun. Because you got to have your gun on you, you know, your Second Amendment rights. So look at this right here. Look at that. Look at that. You could put your Kimber 45 right in there. Got your Kimber 45 2 Super Carry. Put that, look at that. And it's got a little LED light in there. Oh my goodness. They thought of everything. Oh my God, they thought of everything. They thought of everything. They thought of everything. This is what I'm talking about. You can't make America great again if you don't have USB C ports right there next to your USB 3.1 ports. How are you going to make America great again if you don't have this truck? You can't. And that's just a simple fact. You just can't. Look at this. We got a backup camera. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You can see your gate like you pull it out of your trailer park. And you don't want to hit your child. You can see, you can see everything right through there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Well, we got surround camera. Holy shit! Like I can see what's going on. Look, if I put my hands there, oh, I don't see nothing there because that's just a picture. Wow! Look at that. Surround camera. We got 3D surround. So this way, when you're driving around, when you're driving around looking for illegals, you can see them if they happen to be in three dimensions around the truck. <laughs> that's it, that's amazing. Displace, the, oh shit, look at that. You can pick the step up with the push of the button and it tells you right there if it's up or down, look at that. Look at that, man, this damn thing's like a spaceship truck. This is like a space truck. Do they have trucks in space? Cause if they don't, they do now. Holy shit, wow. Look at that, turn my air up because it gets a little warm down here in Texas. It gets a little bit warm. Got the Stabila track on and off. Got the uh, park, uh, that parking uh, sense thing, just in case it starts beeping when you're backing your cattle into the back of the ranch. I mean, you know, you, you gotta be careful. You can't run over your cattle because that, that's your bread and butter. I mean, how are you gonna make America great again if you don't have this truck? You can't. You gotta have this truck, not the F-150 is nice. I'm not gonna say it's not nice. But there's no way that you can make America great again if you don't have this truck. You have to get 
this truck right here. Got to. Look right there. Now you see these people? These people are looking at the Jeep Grand Cherokee. That nice blue one that I spotted on the way in. Now apparently, these people happen to be, you know, a little cheap. So they're not gonna spend the money on the SRT Jeep and they damn sure ain't looking at the Trackhawk because the Trackhawk's just a little bit too expensive for them. So they're just looking at the Jeep Limited. So good for them. But I tell you one thing, let me tell you something. You can't make America great again if you don't have a Jeep or this Ram truck right here. Look at that, they got the 12 volt DC so you can run your uh, radar detector to watch out for these pigs out there that are trying to give you tickets when you're just a hard working man. You're trying to get back and forth as fast as possible. And they're up there trying to give you tickets. That's against my, that's against my rots. That's against my rights. Look at this. Gear limit. Got the gear limit button right there. You don't have to have no manual truck. We got automatic trucks in 2019. Look at this. Jesus. Look at this truck. That is, look. Oh my God. Look at that shit. Look at that. So this way, if you've got your fellas out there in the back, it's like you can open this up and yell at them. And then you can close it. And then you just take them back to Home Depot and drop them off. Oh, oh, now they're looking at the Wrangler. Look at that, they're looking at the Wrangler. It's like, hey guys, listen, you guys got to get the Jeep Grand Cherokee. In fact, if I were you, I'd get the uh, Trackhawk. Because if you don't get the Trackhawk, you can't make America great again. Uh-oh, somebody's got a fucking motorcycle around here. Guys, you got to get the Trackhawk. These Jeep Wranglers are okay, but only if you live on the beach. How you gonna make America great again if you don't have a Trackhawk? <laughs> you gotta have the track on. So then they got this turn gear right here. You know, it's typical stuff, typical. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is the best truck there is. But let me tell you something again. Let me tell you something again. If I see one of you and you claim to be a Trump supporter, but you're driving around a Toyota Tundra, I'm gonna call you out. Sport competition, spoiler. Oh man, I like this guy. It says I pay cash. Look at this shit. Is this the red eye? It's either the red eye or it's a, uh, no, it's, it's not a red eye. Oh, shit. Let's get this ugly Audi out of the way so that I can see the cool car. Thank you trying to see the cool car, but I've got a ridiculous Audi blocking my view. Can't have that. Let's go, hurry up. This guy, this guy pays cash. You better watch out for him. Okay, can, can, we, can we hurry this along, please? Can we hurry this along, please, Audi? Please. I'm trying to see the cool car. The one that doesn't have the uh, the uh, gauge cluster that's lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, okay, 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 I get it, okay. I've got a convertible. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, come on, let's do this, come on. Come on. And by the way, if you know why I'm breathing hard, it's because I hold my phone like right up to my mouth. Like you can see it, like I have to hold the phone right up to my mouth. So when I'm talking, I look like a secret service agent. And that's why you hear like the heavy breathing and you hear whatever happens, you hear it like right away. Look out for this guy, this guy pays cash. Okay, I wanna see him do something terrible. He pays cash and he's leaving. Everybody watch out, this guy pays cash. Everybody watch out, this guy pays cash right here. Everybody watch out, this dude pays cash. He's not messing around. Oh, I thought he was doing, I thought he was leaving, my fault. He's 86. 86? 86. Now this, this is a wide body. This should have been like 79, the 79, red eye. 79, 400 plus tax. 79 plus tax, okay. Right. It looks good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, well. yeah, watch out for this guy, he pays cash. Everybody watch out for this dude, he pays cash. 
Oh, I think he's just hooking up his Bluetooth or something. I tell you, when you see this guy around, you better stand back because this guy pays cash. Shit. <laughs> Is the fact that if they didn't try to name it fucking Trackhawk. If they had just called the shit Jeep Hellcat, it would sell better. I mean, the thing about it is when you try to spring the name Trackhawk on somebody, let's say somebody comes here, and let's say the uh, dealer feels them out, and they're like, hey, um, let me show you something really cool, because I think you can afford it, right? And then they show you the uh, Trackhawk. Some people, the first thing they might think is, oh yeah, I know what a Trackhawk is, because they're thinking of the word Trailhawk. They're not thinking... You're not thinking that, oh, wait a minute, they came up with a new name and they have no way of justifying why they have this new name. So, basically, this name, it just doesn't, it just doesn't, it just doesn't carry any gravitas. It just doesn't, you know? Looks the same as the rest of them inside. I mean, it looks the same as a regular Jeep SRT, which, you know, right now is probably selling a little bit easier, considering that the Jeep SRT is about, what, $20,000 less. But, uh... I, I mean, you didn't even give us the television. For God's sakes, there's no TVs and things. Still, you still want ninety nine thousand dollars, just a little ten thousand dollars off, and there's no TVs. It's like, my goodness, what are y'all trying to get away with? All you had to do was call it the Jeep Hellcat. Nobody expected you to come out with some silly ass track hawk. Nobody, nobody wanted no damn track hawk. We birds fly. They don't drive around no goddamn track. It doesn't make no damn sense. So, now, they sit on lots. Now, I know there's some places where they move, like, you know, like Canada and, uh, you know, a couple of places. But most of the people who buy these things, they usually give them back and they trade them for Ram trucks. Because hey, cash is finally leaving. I got to see this guy leave because he pays cash. Everybody back the fuck up. This guy pays cash right here. Look at this damn thing. Look at this damn thing. I love Challengers. They're, they're really cool. I'm just not a Challenger person. Look at this thing. He pays cash. Look at that shit. He pays cash, yo. SRT, when they only had the five-speed transmission, it's like, with FCA, you just never know. They could uh, design something and then sell it for two years, and then all of a sudden they just switch up and redesign it, like, right away. You know, that 2012, that 2013, with the five speed, that shouldn't even exist. It should have, they should have just waited, but they didn't do that. They were like, hey, let's, let's get some money right now, you know. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. The fucking Honda Accord is treading water. I want to see that thing stop. Look at this. Let's go, let's go for a swim, kids. Hey, everybody, let's go for a swim. So front wheel drive ass women. Look at this shit. Got a freaking Nissan. Come on, guys. Everybody take your time. Take your time. Jesus. Look at this shit. Somebody's water main must have broke. Yeah, come on in. Look at this. Look at this. Look who's here. So here I am at the mall, and I pay cash is back. <laughs> so I pay cash. This guy's everywhere. And the funny thing is, you just notice him right away. This guy pays cash. It's like... I, I had no idea that I was going to see him again, but I just happened to be going to the store, and sure enough, he shows up. I'll be goddamned. He pays cash, mind you. You got to watch out for this guy. Amazing. It's like, we've got to stop running into each other like this. Yeah, so when you're at the shopping area and you've got all these pathetic econo boxes like that Versa right there and the silly Honda Accord and all these things it's like we got Mopar just taking over the whole goddamn parking lot <laughs> this Honda Accord and this Toyota and everything it's like we got Mopar just taking over that's how, that's how it has to be look at this pathetic Toyota whatever this thing is I think what is this a RAV4 or something these things have gotten so ugly I don't even know what they're called anymore yeah, let's roll up in here. We're going to roll up in this parking lot. We're going to take the whole thing over. We're going to have our own car show. We're going to set up a car show right here. Like, I can't park there. Why would you put the pole right there and make that? Look at this guy. Come on. What did you, you find? 
All right, anyway. I almost don't want to park near him and freak this guy out. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's cool. That guy, that, it looks like Santa Claus damn near. <laughs> like Santa Claus. And he pays cash. Look at this shit. People making their own parking spots. Damn. Okay. You know what? I can go over here. No big deal.